Welcome back. It is now 645 time once again for traffic and weather together with meteorologist Shea Sorensen. Yeah, hey. it is uh, cold out there. Yeah, this I was looking morning. to see if it's warmed up any. But it's cold. We see some uh, oh, a little yeah, more light rain on the way. <laughs> no, it's not any warmer. Uh, temperatures are still cold. We're in the 20s, 30s and low 40s in some spots. So a cold start this morning. Uh, but the good news is we have another nice afternoon to look forward to highs in the mid 60s and we have a chance for some uh, very isolated, very light rain and snow showers later on this afternoon and to this evening. But we're really not going to see a whole lot from this system. Uh, good news as well. We're uh, going to warm things up and see tons of sunshine as we head into your weekend. And then by early next week, if you miss the rain, and the snow. We have a stronger, colder, potentially wetter system on the way, so I'll have more details on that coming up. Looking at your current temperatures, very chilly. We're at 32 at the freezing mark on the east side, just barely above freezing in Sabino Canyon. 37 for Oro Valley, the west side, 39 for Tucson Estates, 40 for Marana, 39 at the Tucson International Airport. Areas to the south and east a bit colder, especially towards Wilcox. We're at 25 there, 34 in Bisbee, 27 in Pierce, 30 in Sasabe, and 33 in uh, Nogales, one of the warmer spots Ajo at 47 degrees so definitely cold out there and we're waking up clear so that's not helping but clouds will increase as we head into the afternoon ahead of that system that's already bringing some light rainfall and snowfall to the high country in northern Arizona that's on the way for us but a lot of that activity will happen to uh, the east and to the north of Tucson but looking at uh, your future cast some things have changed we could see some light rainfall right around noon now as we head towards about 4 p.m. activities looking a little bit more scattered high elevation snow can be expected and as we head towards eight o'clock most of the activity will start to die down a little bit and then into early tomorrow morning most of us will be dry maybe just a couple isolated showers near the new mexico border in cochise county looking at your raincast uh, over the next several hours we could pick up a few hundredths of an inch but not very impressive rainfall amounts the system is pretty dry not bringing a whole lot of rain or snow and for snow we could see uh, one to two inches above 7,000 feet and that's pretty much it so not going to be a big rain or snowmaker mid 60s for the highs today metro tucson and in santa cruz county low 60s for cochise county and for the mountains low 40s with another cold night up ahead and looking ahead of course light showers for today but then a ridge of high pressure builds in over the weekend so we're talking temperatures in the mid to low 70s both Saturday and Sunday so a nice warm up for the weekend but that all changes very quickly into early next week as a stronger colder weather system moves into the southwest models are coming into better agreement and we could see snow levels drop to the valley floors in parts of Cochise County Graham County and Santa Cruz County so some snowfall possible for places like Sonoida maybe Sierra Vista and Safford so we'll keep Keep you updated as we get closer. We're still several days away and working out those details. Mid 60s for today, tomorrow and Friday. 70s this weekend, dropping into the upper 50s by Tuesday of next week. That's a check of weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at traffic now this morning and start off.